There is a time to bid goodbye to the old and the ordinary and to awaken the beauty within. That time is now. It is time to wake up and take charge of life. Awaken to a new way of thinking. Awakening with Brahma Kumaris. Namaskar. Welcome to Awakening with Brahma Kumaris. Sister Shivani is with us, as usual, to answer all our questions. Om Shanti, Sister. Om Shanti. A very, very, very warm welcome Thank to you. Thank you so much. Lovely to be with everyone. I wanted to share with you and uh, our listeners, our viewers, this line about you are what you think is a very common and old uh, thing. Now we've also, also said so many times, you are what you think. Even science is now telling us that we age according to how we think. So important. We started the whole everything about thinking, 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 and this is a different perspective. We never thought about aging of the body. Each of our thoughts, conscious or unconscious, acts as a command which is programming every cell of the body body. Our cells eavesdrop on our thoughts and respond accordingly. We never sit and think about it, that this can, is killing us, aging us, weakening us, depleting us. Thoughts matter so much, Didi. That's why we had seen a couple of days back that every thought has an effect on every cell of the body. And that is why medical science tells us today that so many of the illnesses which the body is suffering today are because of the wrong way of thinking. But yet when that thinking manifests in the form of a disease, we heal only the disease. We address only the disease. But we're not ready to change our way of thinking because we thought that is natural. That's not in my control. Research done by a scientist, a doctor in Japan, was on the effect of thought on water. And they took different samples of water in different containers and subjected it to different thoughts. A thought as simple as, I love you, and a thought as simple as, I hate you, I am angry with you, simple thoughts. And that sample of water was subjected to these thoughts, given vibrations of these thoughts. And after a specific period of time, that water sample was checked under the microscope. The formation of the crystals in the water was very, very different for each water sample, even though the sample of water was the same to begin with. The I love you, the positive feelings, had very beautiful defined crystals. And the I hate you, they didn't even have a proper crystal. There was no formation. The human body is 80% water. Oh, that way, that way. Every thought has an effect. And that is why the body is responding only to the messages that we are sending. And then we are trying to rectify the body, whether it's through surgery, through cosmetic, through fashion industry. We're using all, because we're trying to go outside. In. I'll do this, then I'll be happy. But it was going to be, I'll be happy, and this will be beautiful and healthy. Then I don't need any cosmetic surgery. I don't need any lotion. That, that's why they say, na, the inner glow, there's something glowing on that person's face. Because then you don't need to use any external means. Some attraction she has, they say, you know, she looks so divine. You know, all these words people say. Because it's the quality of the thinking of that personality. And it has an effect on my internal feeling, my well-being, and that will automatically show on my body. Even if 
I'm going, I'm suffering from a disease. Even if I'm suffering from a disease, the body is suffering from a disease. It's the power of the mind which can either heal or subject you to further suffering. At the Brahma Kumari's headquarters in Mount Tabu, we have a project called Reversal of Coronary Artery Disease. Mm. Yes. It's a seven day program for which we come to Mount Tabu. Anyone who's been suggested a bypass surgery or an angiography who's suffering from very severe blockages in three or four of the arteries. They come to Mount Tabu for a week, be there in a residential program with a family member. This one week, same medication, whatever they're going through, that remains the same. But with that, meditation, visualization, diet, and right lifestyle, and counseling of relationships. This is done for seven days. Then they go back after seven days, and they are asked to maintain the same thinking and the same lifestyle for six months. After six months, get your test done all over again. Your ECG and everything that you have to take. And how many percent of the people who have done this course? The, the... It is amazing. Tell this me. project is done with the Defense Research Organization of Delhi, the DRDO. It's a very scientific project. It's not some just some spiritual organization just trying out something like this. It's a very scientific project and it started under the leadership of Dr. Abdul Kalam when he was the scientific advisor at DRTO and he still monitors the result of this project. Above 93%. The result? Yes. Positive? Yes. But only those who did it sustained it regularly for six months. Religiously? Absolutely. They made it a part of their lifestyle, not just the food and the walk and the you know, exercise, but the way of thinking had to become the lifestyle. And it works. Way of thinking must be similar to what we speak. Uh... Yes. You know, letting go of blockages. See, why will the heart have a blockage? Because here there is a blockage. I have held on to something. I was deeply hurt resentful, not able to let it go. If I don't clear the blockage, the emotional blockage, it's going to manifest somewhere. And then I get a surgery done and I clear the heart blockage, only clearing the physical blockage. You're not changing your way of thinking. You're not changing your, you know, you're not clearing your emotional blockages. So again, over a period of time, it will again manifest into a physical blockage. Again, you go and heal that, but you don't take care here. And again and again, it's going to happen. And people have experienced wonderful results. And then it's such a beautiful experience that those who go through the project and get these benefits, they come the next year to share it with the next group who comes. Oh, very nice. Yeah, That's because sweet. it's such an inspiration, their success stories. Those who couldn't climb a single flight of steps can just jump up to three floors now. They have only for the heart or they have for, they have for other heart. diseases also? See, the heart is going on as a very scientific project with DRGO, you know. Everything is documented, monitored, evaluated. But otherwise, we have for diabetes also. And it's very simple. And they do very simple, the one what we talked about, visualizing. Really visualize I am mm. a pure being and I'm sending radiation, vibration to that blockage in my heart and it's cleaning it up. You know, like a pipe which is blocked, so you need to clean it up. We all know how to clean it, right? Scrub, scrub and clean it. So I visualize, here is this blockage and I, the soul, am sending the energy of love to clean this blockage and I visualize it getting cleaned. Unbelievable, no? Yes, and it works. It works, we just have to try it out. You're talking about some uh, very interesting thing about some meditation. You're in meditation. In we... meditation, because we understand that here I am the being, the body, and there is a body of energy, the subtle body, which we call, which mm. we call the aura. You know, we can see the energy. The level. aura. Now, if you check the energy field of mm. anybody, you'll see a lot of colors. And this is being used as a therapy for healing. So if I take a scan, a photograph of the body right now, and I get the various colors, like I did it once, 
and then the doctor showed me there is a possibility that you will have a backache within the next six months if you don't take care now because already it's getting a little dark there mm -hmm. the color mm. okay so one we start taking care of that in terms of posture second because it's a dark color there there's an energy blockage now during meditation take the vibration of purity send it to that region and vibration of purity means white color white color mm -hmm. and send it to that region and see the white color replacing that dark color it's cleaning that and it's becoming white and where does the dark go out it's finished no the blockage is out i'm cleaning it up the blockage the blockage has to be cleaned anywhere where there's a pain i have a pain in the knee i have a pain in the stomach treat it but with that also do this healing it works wonders how every thought has an effect on the body and the opposite oh i'm in pain i just can't get up i will not be able to do it you know the sentences that were yeah, there i'm reading. growing old already there's energy blockage and these negative thoughts going to create more blockage amazing no every thought has an effect on each and every cell of my body of the body and when are we going to learn this don't be don't torture your body it's such a beautiful gift what about your relationships beautiful gift everything is a beautiful gift don't torture yourself it's beautiful it's pure it's clean don't torture it don't harm yourself from here only we are harming the yes so it's first else. i harm myself then it has an effect on the body and it also has an effect on my relationships and they buy my destiny it's just it's, it's easy to say okay i forgive but again it comes back it's just that i will have to create a positive thought for that person understanding that that person had a reason for what he did But every I time i try to forgive now what are the steps for that first and foremost to understand that that other person had a perspective even in the toughest of situation they had a reason see so many times forget anyone else let's look at ourselves if i look back on my life i am going to see times when i've made big mistakes big 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 blunders now i reflect back and i say how could have i done something like this did i not understand what i was doing at that time now but at that time when i was doing it i was 100% convinced that what i'm doing is right so supposing i have to tell a child or a person or to somebody okay whatever you've done at that moment you thought it was right you've done now forget about it just forget and move ahead because remembering it is only blocking your journey now it's pulling you back negative energy pulls you back when you're trying to move ahead yes i've made a mistake full stop now what why did i do it how did i do it i shouldn't have this is the effect of that it's just pulling me back whereas i want to move in the front and there are so many people to remind you of that also that's again disempowering if something has happened in the past the best gift we can give to ourselves and to other delete absolutely delete and go to the recycle bin and remove it from there also just Other, delete otherwise it'll take another month pop up again it'll pop up again just delete that's the easiest way to heal yourself and everyone else definitely when it's someone else around you know even if someone is trying to forget we send these gentle reminders but you know what this is what had happened and then everyone will sit and discuss about it and talk about it we creating the same emotions again and again those which we want to forget we were talking about uh, supposing i want to forget and forgive somebody and a very strong incident in my life uh first you said to understand that that person okay let's say he was right at that time whatever it otherwise he wouldn't have done it okay he thought it was right and he did it now what is the next step ma'am my happiness is not dependent on him that is my weakness forget about him Second right and wrong step is my happiness is not dependent on him. on him he must have done what he thought was right but i thought it was wrong i definitely thought it was wrong at that time i still, I still think it's wrong hmm. 
but the hurt that I'm creating. See why the forgiveness is difficult, not for the act. It's for the pain that I'm going through. The emotional pain. Because I'm not able to heal that, I'm not able to forgive. I go and take a tablet mm -hmm. if I have a headache. If I have pain in my knees or joints, I take go to the doctor. But if I have this kind of pain, why don't I, I mean, try to do something about it? Why am I living from the last 30 years, 40 years with that pain? Because I thought others were responsible, so they're supposed to come and heal me. Because they were the ones who created the hurt. That's what I thought. So now it's high time after listening to this program. If we are in pain, and if somebody has hurt us, which actually we've talked earlier that I've hurt my own self, not, it is just the incident. That was just a trigger. Now it's high time that I take some kind of a medicine for this immediately Absolutely. before it triggers into, you know, yeah, converts it into worse. some kind of... It'll become a tumor. The injury will convert to I, I was to just about to say cancer, yeah. Yes, it will. Because I'm letting it remain. That infection is there. And every few days we all sit together and we rub the wound. And we think it's justified because we're talking about them, the one who made the mistake. They're not getting affected. So we come back. First step is to understand that he, he or she thought it was Had right at that time. Second point was that I will, uh, my happiness, my life doesn't depend on him or her. What is the third you said? Third step is that now to move forward, I need the right energy. And for that, I do not need to keep the past here because past is past. It's past. And if we want to look at it a little deeper, on a very spiritual perspective, then I understand that everything that happened to me was only a return of my karma that I've done before. That's the absolute truth, which finishes all question marks. Why did this happen to me? Why did they do this to me? Nothing is unfair. Everything that's happening to me is a return of something that I have done sometime. Now that it's come back, I will have to accept it gracefully and see what I have to do now. It doesn't mean come, come, hit me. It just means, yes, you're hitting me because I have hit you some other time. Now I'll just protect myself instead of fighting at you for hitting me. So you mean to say life is not unfair? Not at all. So now you say, Life is very, very fair. And if whatever had happened or that person had done to me is a return of karma, and if we go on repeating it and repeating it creating and repeating new ones. it, we're, creating we're living in the past and creating new karmas. And this will come at the future. And also sending that person wrong, bad vibrations which are coming back to me again. Yes. Let me stop the cycle here. Cut. Absolutely. Like Just it. no negative thought for them at all. The account is over. Let me not keep carrying forward that account. I don't think it's very difficult if you take it seriously. It's very simple. Because if you understand that it's me who's losing, I'm going to fall sick, I'm going to age, each cell of mine is going to be affected by every thought, and the more I send these bad uh, vibrations to that person or energy, I'm getting it back maybe multifold or maybe equal, whatever. I'm not sure about that. So if you have, if you give logic and understanding to your mind, or to yourself, then I think it's not and very difficult. And also very important that that what happened, somewhere I'm responsible. That eases off a big burden. It helps me to make it easy to settle the account. Because the question mark, why did this happen to me? Hmm. Why did he do this to me? This question has to finish first before me, you know, for me to move to logic. So there's no point in cursing anybody in the world? At least now let me finish that account and start fresh. If Otherwise, I... this account will continue. It will. I met this brother who lost a four-year-old son. The child left the body. It's his experience. I don't know how factual it is. And he said, my son before leaving just said to me, you've spent 25,000 on me, the account is over. 
And he said, then I remembered that in my younger times, I had cheated someone of 25,000 rupees. When I cheat someone of that X amount, I'm not just cheating the person of money. It, that amount may be something very big for that person. And that person may have gone through a lot of emotional pain and the whole family must have suffered because they were cheated of that amount. That soul comes back to me, takes that money, and leaves me with pain, goes away. Account settled. He says, Nothing is unjustified. The four-year-old child told his father. That's, the, that's what the father told me. That you spent 25,000. How does he know that he spent? The soul. You see a soul when the soul is leaving the body. It's very detached. It's no longer a four-year-old child. Sister, what happened when I just uh, came to Bombay in 1977, 14th of March, uh, one of, uh, I was not getting a place as a paying guest. So one of these uh, brokers who live on this business, he took me to a small room, which had just one room one little window, one little table for kitchen, and one bathroom. It's just one single room, no proper ventilation. I went in, I had no other choice because that was the best address of Juhu I wanted to be. So as I told him, I like it. And the person who was going to leave on the first, he was a Punjabi. He told me in Punjabi, saying that, tell him you don't like it and come after two days. What's the point in paying him two months of rent? And rent was 400 rupees a month, which was big. So I cheated the broker. I took the room. And from station, it was a Sunday, Ville Parle to Bandra. I just put my hand here, 800, pickpocket. Once in my lifetime, only once it happened to me ever. And I got down at Bandra with no money and two bags. And I was in pain for days and days because that 800 rupees I used to earn only 50 rupees a week on radio. Only 50 rupees a week a full day of working on a radio station. And how many weeks? Eight into double. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. And that was the saving of 800 bucks. And I cursed and a chore kaise hote hain. How do you feel? They don't even feel whose pocket. I was going on blaming that pickpocket or pickpocket. Pick. Now, when I speak to you, I'm talking about 1977 now, 14th of March. I'm talking, I'm realizing that I had to pay karmas. I paid. And whom I was blaming? Uh, I was blaming whom? The pickpocket. Now I blame myself for that. My karma is over, thank God. Don't ever think about him again. I never send thought a good him. wish and just send a vibration of forgiveness to the broker. Mm. Good wish to him. Account settled. It's happening at every aspect. Every, every, every aspect. It's there, it's working. Nothing is unjustified. It's just that certain things I can see within this lifetime, this cost you but certain things are going to carry forward because I am on a journey. I'm just changing a costume. So I will not recognize those people when they come before me and they act in a particular way. And I will say, why is this happening to me? When we say thoughts create destiny, so my thoughts, now my thoughts are not restricted to when I'm in this costume. My thoughts create my destiny. So thoughts which I have created even before now and after are creating my destiny. It's not a very a very pleasant feeling when you say that take the responsibility of each and every action of yours on yourself. It's very easy and you feel very nice when somebody says, oh, it's because of so and so. You feel lighter. Now I'm feeling so heavy thinking, you know, each and every action is my responsibility. And at the same time, taking care of this body is also my responsibility. And by thinking like this and uh, doing things, each and every cell of mine is being affected. So better take care. 
of our thinking. And what kind of a meditation uh, shall we? Let's do? give vibrations of purity to the body and cleanse any emotional toxins that have and created an impact on the body. And the blockages and the knots. Sure. Let's just sit back and look at our costume. My body. It's mine. Acquired. To be used. It's my costume that I wear. And let me look at myself. In the center of the forehead. I, the being. Pure consciousness. And let me look at this body as a body of light. Every thought I create is energy and this energy radiates to the entire body. Let's look at it like a beam traveling through the entire body. Any part of the body which is hurting, suffering or diseased. Let me focus my thoughts and my attention to that part of the body. First and foremost, to detach myself. I am not suffering. It's my body which is diseased. And now I the pure energy, send a laser beam of white light to that organ which is hurting. Visualize the energy blockage in that area dissolving and replace it with the vibration of purity white light. I am healing my body. My body is just a result of my thoughts and feelings. And as I take care of myself, I heal my body. Om Shanti. Each thought has an effect on the cells of the body. Wrong thinking manifests itself into a disease in the body. While we heal the body, let us also change our thinking so that we can experience total health. Visualization is a powerful tool along with meditation in which we use the power of the mind sending vibrations of love and peace to clean and clear the blockages in the body. To heal the body, we need to heal our emotional blockages. Let us not hold on to anything of the past. Mistakes we have made, let's not hold the guilt. It is past. Let us delete that thought and feeling. If others have done wrong to us, let us understand they had a reason for what they did. According to me, they were wrong, but still my hurt is my creation. And now I have the power to let go. That is, not keep those thoughts on my mind. Everything that happens to me is only a return of my past karma. Let me now settle it with dignity. If you wish to discuss your problem, or have a question to ask or want to know your nearest Raj Yoga Meditation Center, write to us at awakening at bkmail.org or call us on UK 440-75304-26770, USA 1347-2300.